Do you need to remove the background from an image, but you're not sure exactly how to do that? Well, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the easy process in order to remove those pesky backgrounds inside of Cricut Design Space. Now, there are a number of times that you might need to remove a background from an image, whether it's a custom order from a client, they send you their logo and you have to remove the background before you create their custom stickers. If it's something that you created inside of Canva and you're looking to turn it into a decal, no matter the case, with a few adjustments inside of Cricut Design Space, we can achieve the goal that you're looking for. Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Please, if you are a business selling things, seek out legal counsel, do your own research, just understand trademark and copyright laws before you go to sell anything at all. So now that we're inside of Canva, what we're going to do is create just a really simple graphic. Now on the right hand side, you're going to see a large button. We're going to click that button. But as you can see, there are a ton of different pre-selected sizes. We're just going to go ahead and go with an Instagram post. This is going to give us a large enough canvas so that we can get started and I can show you guys how to remove the background. So let's say that we're just creating a basic text decal for our car. We're going to go to the left hand side and we're going to hit select text. From here, we can either add in their pre done settings or we can browse their mini fonts that are already accessible through the Canva app. Because I'm gonna play around with some of the fonts, I'm just gonna select add a subheading and we're gonna stretch this out to make it just a little bit bigger. So you can either stretch the text like I did or you can select the text itself and this top bar here is going to change depending on what it is that you selected. Selecting this bar here, it is going to pop up a massive drop down scroll bar thing to the left hand side. These are all of the fonts that Canva has to offer. Some of these are gonna be with a paid subscription. Anything that has these crowns on them, those are your paid fonts. But everything else that's in here is totally available for you to use for free. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pick literally any font from here. And we're just going to type something out so that we can get it inside of our Cricut design space. Now that we have our design set out, our fonts picked, we're going to go to the top right hand side. We're going to tap on share. This is going to bring up our different downloading options. What we're going to do is go down about halfway down is right here. It says download. We're going to select that. Now I have the pro account so I can do a transparent background, which is going to save us the next step. But if you guys don't, you're not going to be able to select this particular option. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and keep PNG selected. PNG images to typically give you the highest quality results. So we're going to keep that and we're going to go ahead and hit download. Now it's going to pop up a box and it's going to ask you where you want to save this. You save it wherever you want. I'm just saving it to the desktop so that I can find it easily in our next part of this video. So now that we're inside of Cricut Design Space, we're going to go to upload image. We're going to go to browse and I'm going to drop over to our desktop. And here is the image that I had earlier. I'm going to open this and it's going to pull up. Now, this is a really simple image, so we don't necessarily need complex, but I always select complex because it's just easier for me. And I know that when I get into the habit of doing something and I'm running through things, if I have to think about it, I might not pick the right one. So I always pick complex and we're going to go ahead and hit continue. Now here's where we're going to remove the background. Depending on what your graphic looks like, you might have to adjust some of these things on the left hand side. If you go over here and scroll down to the bottom, you might see a thing that says more options. Selecting more options, you're going to be able to adjust this. Again, this is really going to be dependent on what graphic you ended up downloading. But for this purpose, because it's just a black and white image, we're going to be able to remove it just as it is. So we're going to select the background. And as you can see, this checkerboard pattern popped up immediately. The checkerboard is the transparency. Anywhere, especially in the O's and the A's, anywhere that there is white, if you do not see that, that means that you didn't remove it. You can zoom in and zoom out using the controls underneath it, and that's going to let you really make sure that you're getting everything. 
depending on your graphic, there might be stickers at one point that you'll need to zoom in and really make sure that you've got everything cleared out. So do not be afraid to use the zoom feature. It is there to help you. So we're going to remove all of these different holes, get that stuff cleared out, and we're going to apply this to the canvas. Now you can see on the left hand side our cut image everything is exactly the way that it needs to be so we're going to select that and it's going to save it as an svg file essentially you can add your image name here and add those tags now these tags when i first started i did not use the tags i thought they were completely pointless but they are not you never know what you're going to be searching for in three months from now in a year from now whatever so fill these tags out for what future you might be searching for for this particular design i would definitely save it under car decals funny car decals uh parent decals mom gifts dad gifts anything like that it will save you headache in the long run trust me so once you save this as your cut image and you add your image name and your tags in there we're going to upload this selecting it and adding it to our canvas and as you can see we now have what we just created inside of canva imported into Cricut Design Space. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to check out this video here where I walk you through how to create stickers inside of Canva for your kitchen. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.